Hello, I'm Kurt Lidke with the Lake County Examiner. Here's your two-minute video news source for all things Oregon Outback. It's The Flash. The Lake County Clerk's Office this week confirmed the decision by Patrick Flaherty, former Deschutes County District Attorney, to withdraw from his election bid for Lake County District Attorney in the November general election. Following the May primary vote, Flaherty was pitted in a runoff election campaign against Sharon Forster, former Klamath County District Attorney, to take over the job for current Lake County District Attorney Eulis Stapleton. Flaherty's withdrawal makes Forster the presumptive winner as the only name that will appear on the November ballot. School is back in session across Lake County as of Tuesday, and that means fall sports have returned. It was a hectic first week for Lakeview High School soccer, the boys team hosting Mazama and Rogue River Tuesday and Wednesday, while the girls squad played at Mazama Tuesday and hosted Chester on Thursday. The early games didn't go well for both teams, the boys shut out 10-0 on Tuesday and the girls losing 5-0, and the boys fell again on Wednesday against Rogue River but with a much better overall effort, losing 8-3. For the Honkers, Juan Moreno scored twice in that game and Eddie Ruiz added a third goal. We can't expect our goalkeeper to stop 50 or 60 shots a game. If we're allowing 50 or 60 shots clean in on goal like that, we're not going to win very many games. Lake County local Sarah Hollers will be featured in a New York City exhibit this month starting today. The Polymorphous exhibit features nearly 30 New York artists in the newly established Cluster Gallery in the heart of Brooklyn. Hollers is a 2001 Lakeview High School graduate who teaches drawing and painting at Hunter College, one of the top art schools in the country. While far away in New York, Hollers still takes much inspiration from her Lake County roots, staying connected to home through painting landscapes and locations inspired by Oregon's Outback. Tonight, North Lake and Paisley volleyball teams will square off for the first time this season at the Paisley School Gym. The Broncos didn't field a team last year, unable to find enough participants, but are now back and ready to challenge the North Lake Cowgirls in an inter-county matchup for Lake County bragging rights. This will be Paisley's first match of the season, while the Cowgirls have opened the year with a loss to Gilchrist and a win over Chillicum. The game is scheduled to begin at 5.30. Well, there's the buzzer, so that does it for us this week. To keep up with everything happening around Lake County, check out our online calendar. Follow us across these social media sites. Catch a new Lake County Flash every Friday. And for these stories and so much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Examiner. Hi, I'm Mike Trinkle. And I'm Brian Lucas. And we'd like to invite you to come down to Lake Health Medical Supply and see how we can help you maintain your freedom and independence and grow old on your terms in your home. Ever since I got my power and mobility scooter by drive from Lake Health Medical Supply, I have been able to uh, scoot around town and shop and do whatever without having to ask for rides from people. I can get right down the aisles in, in Safeway with it and, uh, and, and shop for whatever I want. Lake Health Medical Supply is your local source for scooters, walkers, braces, oxygen CPAP supplies, and so much more. Stop by at 16 North F Street in Lakeview for your medical supply needs.